This is a video show presentation by Jones Soda Company. Jones trades on the OTCBB under the ticker JSDA. It's a three month chart, but stocks had a really nice climb in 2013. From down around a quarter up to current levels, went through a sell off so far in August, falling from highs at 90 cents all the way down to 60 cents, but took on a pretty nice move on Tuesday, closing up 11.5% on about average volume, 180,000 shares, pushed its way back above this 50 day moving average. And I want to pay attention to this, see if it's going to move off this support level. Get back over this purple line. It's a 20 day moving average. Represents the middle of the Bollinger Bands. And see if it's ready to take on a much more bullish position and potentially even challenge these old highs. You can see the MACD histogram bars are starting to get a little bit shorter on the south side of zero, indicating that perhaps a bullish cross is going to happen. Of the 12 passing through the 26 EMA, which in the case of any retracement with stocks falling from highs, indicators have to reset themselves. Price per share just can't go up forever. And when the MACD does reset, I always want to see it hold right around that zero mark. Or ideally above it so when a bullish cross happens the MACD is in a prime position to continue the longer term bullish trend. Now with the sell off again stock lost quite a bit of its value losing 30 cents per share. Slow still fell hard all the momentum was sucked out of the play but again now a bullish cross and while early on it's the first signs of some momentum coming back into the play. Of course ideally I want to see it something like this essentially trending above 50 to show that there's bullish momentum being sustained in the play and now that it's below I look for that break back above move to the upper half of the indicator to once again show strong momentum in the play. Money flow index, similar type of mentality. Fell off hard with the sell off. Price per share was below average prices. Just now started to turn, looks like it might bounce off 20. Early on signs of people starting to pay higher prices for the stock. But again, I want to see it up over top of 50 as much more bullish indication of the price. RSI's, little stair step climb. See the 14, just now pushing above 50. Again, that's the sign of the bull starting to take control of momentum. So it's important to see that RSI continue to hold that spot over top of 50. From a support and resistance standpoint, we'll call this a general area right through here. From about 60 to 65 cents. But I want to put that bottom end right there at 60. That would be a spot I'd really want to see hold. Otherwise, there's not a lot of support in sight until down below 50. And again, the chart's just taking on a much uglier look if that happens. Trending below the 50-day moving average. Downtrends continuing, making lower lows. Right now, to me, it's far more important for this chart to continue to hold 60, 65 cents. Ideally, over top of this brown line, the 50-day, you can see it's at 69 cents. That would be an ideal level because there is a little bit of resistance right through here that was established last month. But in order to not clutter the chart up too much, that's where I'm going to call a bottom support. But I'll definitely have my eye on that 50-day moving average. On the same token, as a little bit of support comes right in this area. There's also some resistance there. But I'd expect that to pick up, up around 80 cents. Of course, be much stronger at those old highs at 90 cents. Obviously, closing at 73, that's still a pretty nice upside at that point. But on the broad perspective, if that's broken, a new high is made, the chart's really continuing a long term. It's about a seven or eight month long uptrend of higher highs and higher lows. And that's really what I'm looking for. The pullback's not that big of a deal, happens in every chart. There's going to be some profit taking, as I say, the stock posted real nice gains this year. And I want to see if it's got the continued strength to rally off this support and pop through and make some new highs. Volume picked up over the previous day, but again, that's still right about average for it. I'd like to see a stronger day come in now and show that people are seeing it as a buying opportunity off the support and back over top of a key moving average. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the JSDA chart, but as always, merely my interpretation. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to be a full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.